All right guys, so I'm at my grandmother's house now and I went ahead and got a puller. And then I've got the same bulbs that I used in my mom's Forerunner, And I just got these off of wish.com. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and get to the panel. So you're gonna open up your hatch. We're actually gonna take this panel off right here and it'll give you access to your license plate lights. Okay, so now I'm sitting in the back. We're gonna take the tool. You can even use a flathead screwdriver. You just pop this peg up, pop this peg up, and then come back and just work across with it. and then it'll pop out you can be a little rougher with these panels you're not gonna hurt anything but you can kind of see right here so you pop this one first and then you just work across and can pop this one and then you got this one popped and work across and pop that one and then it'll just fall down okay so now we got the panel off we're just gonna twist these to the left and they'll pop right out so there's one and then do the same thing on this side twist to the left and pull out okay so now we're gonna go ahead and put our LEDs in okay so I'm gonna use two hands for this so I have to sit down the camera but you know you just grab the bulb and pull out and then just put an LED right back in okay so there's the first one now we're gonna go ahead and do the second one okay so there's the second one so now before you put all this back together LEDs are have polarity so we need to go ahead and turn on the parking lights and make sure they're both on and if they're not on, I'm going to have to rotate the bulb around. I'll show you guys how to do that. So just turn your parking lights on. And I lucked up and they are both working. So I got the polarity right. Now if this was to not be working... Um, you can just flip it around and it should work, but if it don't come on and it don't work, then that means the bowl's messed up. So now we're going to go ahead and put them back in, and then we'll put the panel back on. Okay, so first put your bulbs back in. And then turn them till you hear them click. And then you know they're locked into place. And then do the same thing on this side. Put it in there. turn it until you hear it click again okay so now we're going to take the panel and you see you got the, the long pegs up here that push in and then the these pegs right here they just slide down so you're going to take it and slide it down on the bottom first and then push it up make sure it pops in okay and there you go that was a very easy mod that's done so I'll probably just put a picture at the end for the final product because as you can see it's still light outside um, so now I'm gonna head back to my house and close this video out all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here as you could see the last pictures actually wasn't of the TC I actually left my grandmother's house before it got dark um, but those were the same exact bulbs they were just in the forerunner um, so it's basically the same thing um, you can tell how the light cast down on the license plate but anyway if you have a 2014 or 2012 TC I mean I hope that video helped you out um, changing them out I know that the 2011 to 2000 I think 13 they were all the same body style and then from 13 or from 14 to I think 16 the last year they made them um, I know they changed the exterior body style a little bit, but I'm pretty sure the hatch and everything was probably built the same. Um, but other than that, guys, please make sure you hit the purple button down in the corner um, to subscribe to the channel. 
And if you hadn't yet, make sure you go follow my Instagram account. The link is down below. Um, I always post stuff on there before I do YouTube just because it's easier for me to post a picture um, instead of, you know, posting a video. It takes a little bit longer. And um, if you look on there, there's also like Easter eggs and stuff um, of my car, of stuff that's actually already happened before you guys see the film on YouTube. So make sure you go follow my Instagram account so you can see all that stuff. Um, make sure that you like the video. If you didn't like the video, make sure you like the video. And um, if you want to comment, just comment. And also, if you guys have anything that you want me to do to my TC or the 2012 TC or anything that you guys want me to show on the 4Runner, um, my friend has an older Bronco, just anything like that, or even the Malibu that I've done, just let me know in the comments below, and then I can show you guys um, more stuff on there because all the people that have those cars, are, you know, they like to mod their cars and do stuff to them. Um, so I can definitely talk them in probably to doing uh, mods or whatever that you guys want to do. But anyway, guys, till next time, I'll see you later. Another little Easter egg for you guys. If you stayed this long in the video, thank you for staying this long. Um, I'm actually going to be going home the week after next for spring break. And I'm actually going to be going ahead and probably start making my custom diffuser and we'll be putting on the custom splitter that I already made. And we'll actually be making some arrow pieces for the side skirts. So there's going to be some really exciting videos coming up and some custom stuff coming up for my TC. So again, thanks for staying this long. And now you know a little bit extra about what's coming up on the channel. See you guys later. Peace out.